Hello, I'm Dick Durham from Yachting Monthly magazine and uh, we're taking a look today at some of the arcane distress signals that are still on the sort of statute book, if you, if you will, of the MCA. Uh, we've got Luke Duncan Brown, a local chander with us today, and we're on his boat and we're going to examine some of them. Um, they include all sorts of strange things like firing cannons, lighting tar barrels, blowing whistles, tying ensigns up the wrong way and upside down and inside out. Uh, we're going to take a look and uh, see just how many of these we really still need. Flares are still in use today, carried by most yachtsmen. Here we've got examples of two pinpoint reds used for nighttime, two handheld orange smokes used for daytime use, and something which is called a buoyant smoke. You pull the lid off, throw it in the sea, and clouds of orange smoke comes out. The price of these flares, roughly about 12 to 15 pounds each, and the buoyant smoke, about 25 pounds. Another method of distress is the ship's red ensign upside down, displayed upside down. Uh, normally in its normal position, on the red or backstay, but upside down. Another method of showing distress through the red ensign is by tying a knot in it, displaying that on the usual part of the boat, or visibly holding it with your hand showing to the nearest boat visible to you. So using the red ensign to show signs of distress, you can also haul it to the top of the mast. OK, I'm going to bend together November and Charlie flags and take them up to the flag halyard. So we're now tying code flags N and C together and raising them to the cross trees to show that we're in distress and let's hope that somebody sees us. Another method is for distress is to haul up the top of the mast your red ensign and a ball, you can use an anchor ball or a ball fender and that is also a, a distress signal. So when you're trying to uh, show distress with the waving of the arms uh, try to get to a clear point or the highest point of the boat facing the direction that you want the distress to be seen and then slowly, with purpose, move your arms up and down from the horizontal uh, to down towards your thighs, up and down, nice and slowly. So if you've got a whistle on board, you can also whistle out the morse. <coughs> code. So we've now got the uh, smoke signal bucket alight and the smoke is now pouring out the back of the boat. This is one of the oldest methods of drawing attention to yourself in distress. And if you've got a gun on board with a license, two shots at minute intervals will also show that you're in distress. Well, it's been a fun day in Fairman Creek, with the sun shining. We've gone through quite a few different methods of uh, distress. Um, I think for me, my personal favourite is the, the arm signal one. Because I think if somebody's watching you and they see you do that, it's pretty obvious that you're in trouble. Um, I think flags probably could get you know, confused or misconstrued. Um, obviously if you've got a gun on board, that's a lot of fun to fire that and uh, somebody will certainly call the police or something will come up from that. And um, flares are probably the, the safest bet. You see a flare and uh, on the water and that's really a problem, somebody will react that fast. So in my opinion I think uh, flares are probably the most effective, the gun's probably the most fun and the arm signals if you haven't got any of those things. Well, there you are. Um, we practiced these distress signals afloat uh, and we checked them again in the, the coal rapes books and literature that's, that carries them all. Um, and my view is that yes, let's face it, some of them are pretty arcane, pretty pretty ancient, pretty historic uh, and don't really have a place on a modern yacht, i.e. firing cannons and, <laughs> and lighting tar barrels does seem a bit over the top. And so yes, they ought to be altered I guess. My own view is that some of the more simple ones are quite useful, like waving your arms up and down, maybe tying an ensign a knot in an ensign and hauling it to the top of the mast, or indeed putting your ensign on upside down, because they are simple, they are at hand, you don't need any extra kit to carry, uh, and if all else fails, you never know, there might be somebody out there who recognises what it is you're trying to impart.